if you place a bucket of ice indoors. The process of the ice melting will absorb a large amount of heat. The temperature inside the room will drop. This is the principle of air conditioning cooling, but this process is very slow. So, being clever, you bring an electric fan and blow it towards the ice. This way, it accelerates the melting speed of the ice, and the room immediately becomes much cooler. But cooling this way requires constantly replacing the ice, which is very inconvenient. So, you got clever and thought of using Freon to replace ice. Although Freon is a gas at normal temperature and pressure, as long as you put it in a high-pressure tank, it will turn into liquid. To make this system operate, you built a completely sealed copper pipe circulation system and filled it with Freon. As long as it operates, liquid Freon, when flowing through the indoor section of the copper pipe, will vaporize due to reduced pressure and absorb a large amount of heat, thereby cooling the room. Next, the vaporized Freon will follow the copper pipes to the outdoors. This is the process of heat transfer. So how can Freon be reused multiple times? You can install a compressor on the copper pipes. When gaseous Freon passes through here, it will be intensely pressurized. This process will cause its temperature to rise sharply to about 80 degrees Celsius. To cool down the Freon, you add a fan at the coiled copper pipes. You call this device a condenser. When gaseous Freon passes through the coiled copper pipes, it will release some heat. The high temperature, high pressure refrigerant gas will condense into a liquid, then flow back indoors along the pipes. But the temperature at this point is still too high. Obviously, it cannot meet the cooling requirements. So, clever you, installed an expansion valve on the indoor copper pipe. After the high pressure liquid refrigerant reaches the expansion valve, it will instantly release pressure, and its temperature will drop sharply. Then it flows into the original circular pipe thereby continuing to participate in the cycle of the entire system. In order to improve indoor cooling efficiency, you can, at the circular copper pipe, equip a circular fan. This way, you can quickly spread the cold air throughout the room. You can also, at the expansion valve, install a temperature sensor to achieve precise temperature control. If you integrate this entire system into an indoor unit and an outdoor unit, installed separately indoors and outdoors, then congratulations, you have invented air conditioning.